Thank you, Donna. Had to change a little direction of the camera angle because a rain shower moved through and then the sun came out and kind of washes things out a little bit. But we do want to spend some time in prayer and a number of prayer concerns have come up to my attention this week. Got an email from Amy Lomaster and it's an update on Mindy. We prayed for her several weeks ago about the liver transplant she was going through. Um, she is home. She is doing well. I'm told she ate her first hot dog ever, her first um, uh, hot fudge sundae ever. She's able to eat pretty much anything she wants. She does have to have lab work done a couple of times a week, but her levels are looking good. So many prayers have been answered there, and it's nice to have some good news in these crazy times. But we'd also want to add the family of Barney Dobson to the list of prayer concerns because Barney passed away last weekend. He had worked with the Glassers when they had a dairy farm. He worked with the wine coop uh, farm equipment, lived besides Ray and Doris for years. Prayers for that family. Like prayers for a couple of families in Marion Center that were displaced by a fire Wednesday night. We give thanks no one was hurt physically but certainly we know that there are difficulties there. Please be in prayer for them and give thanks to all those who not only volunteer, put, put themselves on the line to put out that fire, but I understand a lot of people have been helping out afterwards with the families, and that's wonderful. You know, last week we prayed for Barbara Hood's grandson, Coleman Hertzler. He's, he's doing a lot better. His test for the COVID-19 was negative, and we're just grateful he's doing better. Uh, remember a few weeks ago, we prayed for some of the employees of Citizens uh, Ambulance Company who may have been exposed to the COVID-19 virus. They have tested negative. They're doing well. They're back to work. So we give thanks to God for that. I would ask that you would be in prayer for Gladys Blazovich. We don't know totally for sure what is going on, except that she is in the hospital. So be praying for her and praying for Sherry at the same time. And from the Presbytery, I would ask for prayers for Paul Abel. Uh, he is the transitional pastor at Clarion Presbyterian Church. And on Wednesday, he was admitted to the ICU of Clarion Hospital with complications due to the COVID-19 virus. And it's possible that other members of the Clarion Presbyterian Church have been exposed to the virus. They are now in quarantine. Please keep Paul, his family, and all the members of the Clarion Church in your prayers. So I've gone through a list, and let's spend a little bit of time in prayer. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall want for nothing. Good shepherd, we pray for ourselves as your sheep. We pray for the church, the Presbyterian Church of Marion. We pray for the other churches here in Marion Center area, and certainly in our county. We pray for your church across the state, the nation, and the world. I ask, Lord, that your people would be given wise shepherding by their ministers and leaders in what certainly are most difficult times. And I ask that the wise leaders and ministers be shepherded well by their people. We ask that they would lead us, not necessarily in an easy way, but in ways that are righteous and good. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want for nothing. Good shepherd of the sheep, we pray for the world that we inhabit, the world in which we have inherited, in which we will pass on to further generations. Teach us to look after it carefully and wisely. Teach us to share its gifts with each other. Teach us to work together to ease the sufferings that happen far too often in this world, as are certainly happening now. As we continue in this time of social, social isolation, may we be faithful in prayer and in living that we would be good neighbors. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall want for nothing. Good shepherd, the one who, who cares for his sheep and surrounds them with love. We pray for our places of work, but we also lift up those who now suddenly find themselves without a place for work. We pray for our colleagues. We pray for our friends, our neighbors. 
We remember before you the members of our families in all the places and with all the people that fill our lives. Give us grace to do your will and to help us be your witnesses as to what it means to truly live in you. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want for nothing. We are thankful. We're thankful for Mindy's recovery. May it continue and may it be obvious to everyone around her where this blessing has ultimately come from. We thank you for those with Citizens Ambulance who wound up not coming down with the virus. I thank you for their service. And Lord, we just pray your protection to be upon them as they continue to really be on the front lines, to, to be responders to what is going on around us here. We are grateful that Coleman is doing better, that his health issues were not serious. We lift up Gladys to you. We would pray just a healing Holy Spirit touch to be upon her. We certainly pray for the friends and family of Barney Dobson upon his passing. May your peace, your goodness, your mercy be with all of them as they mourn. May they see you in and amongst their tears. And Lord, we lift up Pastor Paul Abel, his family, all the members of the Clarion Church. We pray for healing, for grace, for protection. We trust in your goodwill and plans, but we do lift them all up into your arms. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall want for nothing. Good shepherd of the sheep, we give you thanks that you came to set us free, that you came to give us the ultimate safety. You came to give us abundance in this life. We praise you that we are able to live through the good and through the bad times with complete confidence. And so we ask that you would hear our prayers and we ask for them in the precious name of the shepherd, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now my friends, may you all be on your guard. May you stand firm in the faith. May you be a people of courage and may God grant you strength. But above all, may everything you do be done in the love and the grace of the Good Shepherd. Amen, my friends. And God bless you.